Okay, here we are at the Durham Community Garden known as Seeds, and we have just put in two CCAP funded rainwater harvesting units. This one is an 1100 gallon unit with, uh, as you can see, two outlet spigots on the side. One is for a five gallon bucket at the top, and one is uh, for the, of course, the hose at the bottom. And you can see how we've got this. Uh, put in. We've got an electrical outlet that I'll talk about again in a moment uh, on the wall that was installed by a certified plumber. We have the pipe coming over to our scupper on the side of the building. A little bit different than most houses, but that's our uh, basket filter. has a filter inside of it. I'll show you that in a minute. And a diverter at the top that's made out of flashing, aluminum flashing, because what we find is during big rains it overshoots that basket filter. So the uh, water flows along here and we've got the uh, good uh, three inch pipe straps on the side and we use a uh, type of PVC uh, piping that is not intended for pressure. It's cheaper and there's no reason to use the Schedule 40 pressure pipe. Uh, this is actually drain pipe that is not meant for pressure. Uh, comes down to this this is a uh, rubber sleeve. It just makes installation easier because everything doesn't have to be properly aligned. And if you ever were needing to have to take this whole unit off the wall, it's a lot easier because if this was hard plumbed into the tank, uh, it'd be a lot more difficult. So this way, if we need to change things around, we take this off and the whole thing can come off the wall after we take the straps off. Uh, you'll see another thing that we've used here is a three inch neoprene gasket on the side of the tank. We cut the hole out in the tank a little bit bigger and this neoprene gasket allows us to have a nice tight fit that will prevent mosquitoes. Uh, this is the overflow uh, that's the same size, three inches, as the inlet pipe and that travels along the wall. This is temporary until we get a better solution for this and this goes into the existing drain that came off the roof and they were eventually going to have this flow out to a rain garden. You can see how that works. I'll give you a view inside the tank. Here's the screw off lid. We'll take this off. And this is inside the tank. You can see there's the uh, Divatron pump and then the pressure line that goes over to the two outlets on the outside of the tank. We had a rain last night, quarter inch rain. We collected about uh, 100 gallons in this tank off a quarter inch rain. We sized this tank. Uh, for one gallon for every square foot of roof area. Again, that's one gallon captured for every square foot of roof area. If you get a one inch rain on a one square foot roof, you will capture half a gallon. So we figure that we can capture uh, two uh, one inch rains with this tank and they do need the water. I mentioned the pump. Uh, this is a, uh, a liter uh, pump. I'm not sure if this is focusing well. Uh, liter pumps, they make a, a Divatron, it's called, uh, 1000. Uh, this is a half horsepower submersible, has a nice stainless screen and a very long cord as you can see and a one inch uh, outlet, again in stainless. This will produce uh, 150 feet ahead, that's about 45 psi and it'll deliver 25 gallons per minute. So that is a real nice pump. It has an integrated uh, run-dry switch and also a pressure switch. So what that means is you can leave your hose hooked up to the tank and just turn on the end. I'll show you the pressure that we get off this system. And you can see, and now you can hear the pump running too, that gives us some nice pressure when you release it. Uh, of course the pump senses that it needs pressure and it will apply pressure and then after you stop using it, it will... Uh, turn off because it has an integrated pressure switch. Here we can run both of these faucets at once and it works real well. Again, that's 150 feet ahead at 45 psi, so that's a nice pump and they need the water out here. Uh, here's the opposite view with the inlet, the basket filter up there in the tree on the side of the building comes down, goes into the tank, and then we've sealed this to prevent mosquitoes and there's our outlet and our electrical uh, outlet on the wall. Uh, if you want to and you're in Durham sometime, come by and see this. It's at the uh, Durham Seeds, S-E-E-D-S, -E -E uh, Community Garden. And they have two of these. 
uh, you can come by and take a look at this and see how it's working.